Hi everybody, this is John Lorch from DiscoverSkills.com and today I want to start a new series called Discover Skills Quick Tips. In today's quick tip we're going to take a look at Gmail and some changes that they've made in, uh, in your Gmail account. So if you're a Gmail user you'll want to stay tuned. Well, there's no doubt about it that uh, Gmail has become one of the most popular online web-based email systems in the world. Um, great thing about Gmail, of course, is that it's free. It tends to work pretty well. Um, but, you know, a lot like, like a lot of other online companies, Google, which owns Gmail, tends to like to change things. And this time they've made some changes, or in recent times they've made some changes that some of the Gmail users are not too happy with. So in particular there's a couple changes that I wanted to take a look at today that I've had quite a few of my students talk about and I want to talk a little bit about how to deal with those changes and even some things you can do to make those changes go away so to speak. So let's take a quick look at that. Okay so here I am in my Gmail account and the first thing new that I notice is across the top of my inbox I now have three tabs. One is labeled primary, one is labeled social, and the other is labeled promotions and I hadn't seen those before. Well what Google is doing is basically they're trying to sort your incoming email into different tabs so that you don't have quite as much uh, so-called junk to filter through. So what they're trying to do is leave your main email and your primary, this would be email from your family, your friends. Uh, in social they are attempting to put any emails that might come from social related websites such as uh, Facebook, YouTube, Google Plus, those kinds of places. And then in, under promotions they are attempting to put uh, any kind of emails that come in that seem to be promoting some type of a product or selling something. Now on the face of it you might say to yourself well that doesn't sound like such a bad thing but the truth is is that in actual use people have begun to discover that sometimes email intended for their primary inbox you know things from their family and friends um, gets put into social or even gets put into promotions and because a lot of folks forget to check the other two tabs and just stay on the primary tab uh, they tend to miss emails that they want to get. Um, this, the second thing is is that uh, you know what I guess really bugs me about it is is that Google has done this without really asking my permission. There was nothing to say um, that I you know to say I didn't want this. They sort of uh, just implemented it and then uh, just just let it go at that. So my whole thing is is that you need to understand that these three tabs exist first of all but then secondly uh, let me show you how to turn them off if that's what you'd like to do. Um, at the very end of the tab bar there is a plus sign and if you click plus it pulls up a little box that says select tabs to enable and you can see here that there is a primary social promotions they even have additional ones updates and forums that are unchecked the way this works is, is if you come in and uncheck promotions for example and then click save that will actually remove the promotions tab and what it means is then is that now instead of having the promotions tab anything that was initially going into promotions will now show up in your primary box now we can do the same thing for social if I click on plus I come into here I can uncheck social click on save social will disappear now I have a simple inbox okay now you can see here in this little bubble help that pops up although I don't have any tabs anymore and I don't have a plus sign that I can click to go back into them in that we can go back into settings here and if we come down to configure inbox that pulls this window back up again and if I felt like it I could turn these two tabs back on. Now for for today I'm going to go ahead and turn them back on because I want to show some of my other classes that this exists. So I'm going to click on save 
and they should pop back in again. So you can see how you can adjust them, you can turn them off if you don't like these tabs at the top. The second thing that's been kind of bugging people is the new composition window. And if I come over here to comp click Compose to start up a new message, notice what happens. Instead of going to a different screen that gives me kind of a full screen composition window, I get this little screen in the corner that pops up. Um, and I can still see my inbox, but now I've got this little screen here where I can compose my messages. So if I was going to send, for example, a message to Wayne Casper, and I could type in uh, just checking in, and then here is where my message goes. Okay, and no, I don't want to add Wayne to my circle. So the point is, is that this, a lot of people feel this is a kind of a small window to use for this kind of thing, and they'd really like to have a bigger window. So here's what you can do. Um, first thing is up in the upper right hand corner of this small window, there is an expand button. And if we click on it, it's, it's called the full screen button, but if we click on it, it will expand out, fill up the screen a little bit better, at least give us a bigger floating window that we can work in. Also notice that when we do that, we also have now a bigger set of toolbar buttons at the bottom that we can use and things are not quite so condensed. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it back down. You see this little button now will shrink it back down. The second thing I'm just gonna show you is, is that down in the lower right hand corner, uh, right next to where you've got saved and you've got the, uh, the discard uh, draft uh, trash can, there's a small downward pointing arrow that comes up with more options. And if you click it, one of the options that they have says default to full screen. Choosing this will then make it so that whenever you compose a new message, it will go to the full screen or the large screen format rather than this small one right here. So let me just cancel out of this little window and we'll pretend that I'm using or starting up a new message. I click on compose and it comes up to what they call the full screen mode instead of that little corner piece down there. Okay, so again, you go down to this little corner when you have a composition window open, click on more options, and then you'll click default to full screen to get this to happen. Well, if you're a Gmail user, I hope that helped you out a little bit and helped get past some of those changes and maybe some things that you can do to make it a little bit more user friendly, at least uh, in the way that you do things. Now, as always, you can drop me a note. I'd love to hear your experiences with Gmail or anything else technology related. My email address is jlortz at discoverskills.com. Of course, you can visit our YouTube page. It's www.youtube.com forward slash Discover Skills, and uh, there's lots of other videos up there that you can watch and hopefully learn some things from. We love it whenever you like it or give us a thumbs up on our YouTube page. And of course, visit our Discover Skills website for lots more training materials too, and that address is www.discoverskills.com. Until next time, this is John Lortz from Discover Skills, and I will see you in the next video.